The Android Z awakens into a desolate utopia. Generations ago, humans sent machines to terraform the satellite Europa, a project that succeeded beyond all expectations. Z is supposedly there to clear the way for future colonists, but there's something awry on Europa. There are signs of civilizations far more ancient than Earth's, and all that's left of the terraforming operation is a floating structure dubbed the island. Guided by notes left by the last human on Europa, Z must work his way toward the island while uncovering the satellite's mysteries. Europa is an exploration-driven, combat-free adventure game. There are puzzles to be found, and a few areas have hazards that need to be circumvented or deactivated. However, the core of the game is exploration, wandering through the landscape for its own sake. Now, any exploration-themed game needs to handle movement well, and Europa does this with a system that is intuitive and satisfying to use. Z has a natural ability to glide, and he also comes equipped with the Zephyr Pack, which allows him to gain additional upward momentum. The Zephyr Pack is very limited, but the skies are filled with resources to refill it, while also providing some direction for the player. Combined, all of this lets Z take to the air and stay there for long periods, zipping between resources while searching for secrets. Whether or not this works depends on the game's visuals, and here Europa succeeds in a big way. The player passes through several biomes, all of them lush and highly detailed, and the land is far from empty. Both natural and biomechanical fauna exist in abundance, and a completionist-minded player can get some extra playtime in by seeking out unusual animals and capturing them in Z's sketchbook. All told, it's rare to see a game world that feels this organic. And since the game's visuals are the main draw, I should leave you by mentioning that Europa features a special photography mechanic that freezes the game while giving the player full control of the camera. You can expect to see some really dynamic screenshots coming from this game. <laughs>